Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for Matilda. This one is the original one, the one from 1996. So, a long time ago. I feel like the 90s were just like a few years ago, but no, it has been a long time. <laughs> so, uh, this is a film that I, I, have, I have known of. Uh, I have her, Matilda, you know, but I have never watched it. You know, never, ever watched it, which is odd. And I know that they're, ha they release a, a musical uh, either last year or the year before uh, about this film, you know. So I am interested in finding out, uh, you know, why this film is a classic uh, and, and the love, you know, that everybody has for it. Um, this one doesn't come sponsored by anyone. Uh, it's a film that I usually, if you're a Patreon, I post, I make a post asking you guys what movies you want to watch me react to. And you guys go ahead and start posting, you know, uh, your recommendations and the recommendations that has the most votes and the most hearts, you know, uh, I count them all by the end of the month. And I count them, and the ones that are the top... I was going to do the top three, but since the top five were so close in votes, I decided to do the top five. And possibly going to do the other two or three ones that also got a lot of votes, probably as well. So, uh, but for now, we're going to do Matilda. Uh, and it was picked by you guys. Uh, and yesterday, if you didn't see, which I'm going to be doing every week, I think, I have my bucket, my, there's that bucket of popcorn, uh, which has the titles of all the films that you guys have suggested and the films that have been sponsored. Every week, I'm going to take out uh, 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 a film or two, and those are the films that we're going to react to for that week. Uh, this week uh, is Matilda. Uh, luckily, it was the 19, uh, 1999 no, 1996 version of it and not the musical because if not, I will have to change it. Uh, so things are doing well. We're going to watch Matilda and we're going to have fun, right? I hope you guys have fun with me as well. Uh, and yeah, it's a classic. It's a classic. And uh, I am excited that I get to share with all of you. So thank you to everyone that voted, that recommended this one. I hope is of your liking my reaction. Uh, hopefully I can post this on YouTube. So if it's on YouTube, make sure to give it a thumbs up, a heart. If you are on Patreon, Patreons always get the reaction first in case you guys want to watch it. Um, and let's see what it's up with this uh, film. So Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. You guys are incredible. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I hope you like it. And yeah, lots of more movies coming up uh, during the next few weeks, you know. So stay tuned for that. For now, we're going to do Matilda. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. And without further ado, let's just begin with Matilda, our film reaction, our first film reaction for this weekend. So here we go. <laughs> Matilda. Everyone is born, but not everyone is born the same. Yes, for true. For better or for worse. Oh yeah. my God! Yeah, the baby. The baby. The baby. The baby. You can't leave a baby in a car. The woods were so rapid, they named her Matilda. Oh wow! She wrote her name. This this girl's a genius. Okay. Well, what do you want a book for? Uh, yeah, she saw extremely. That she needed in this world, she'd have to get herself. Oh, she's going along. Whoa. Now a little older. These books gave Matilda a hopeful and comforting message. You are not alone. Oh. Oh my God. What was my profit for the day? Could you repeat the last $10, one? $10,265. Whoa. For being a smart aleck. When a person is bad, that person has to be taught a lesson. Oh my God. Everyone had unintentionally 
giving his daughter the first practical advice she could use. What's she gonna do? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe she did that. <laughs> FBI gets involved. Oh. Two directional drill. Oh my god. Daddy, you're a crook. You are a crook. What? This is illegal. I'm smart, like, you're dumb. I'm big, you're little. I'm right, you're wrong. And there's nothing you can do about it. He's a bully, that's what he is. Oh my god. <laughs> you're gonna super glue it? <laughs> it's like... I can't get it off. 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 Oh! oh. Mikey and one mistake, Matilda. They're all mistakes, children. Oh my god. Things. Glad I never was one. Huh? What? You well, came out like this. Educator, okay. I'm gonna make you a great deal. Hey, you. You're going to school. I am? First thing tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. You get a real education at this place. Any school is better than no school at all. Well, yeah, I is guess. It? Oh! They're all scared of her. Heads up! Shoulders back, stomachs in. Stand up straight. Hey, sorry. Attention for you. That's Good. okay. It's much better than being out there. No, that's hey. the principal, Miss Trunchbull. I'm Matilda. Lavender. Oh. I'm Hortensia. Hi. Hi. Here she comes. Oh. Oh, shit. Fresh meat. You scary. Oh. Okay. Chop those off before school tomorrow, or I will but. come around. But did you say but? Uh uh. Good loss. An excellent release. Think she'll make the fence? Can we close one? Okay, I I I'm, I'm, I'm not enjoying the physical abuse of the children, by the way. Remember how scary your first days at school were, so I'd like you to be especially nice to Matilda and make her feel welcome. Oh, right. that's sweet. Did you get very good or 13 times 379? 4,927. She's really smart. That's the answer. <laughs> it is. Whoa. Wow. A lot. Oh, yes. I love to read. What do you like to read? Everything. Close the door. Who is it? Some teacher. Says she's got to talk to you about Matilda. I'm sure you're aware by now that Matilda has a brilliant mind. They don't want to believe does it. does not get anywhere by acting intelligent. Tara, I can see we're, we're not going to agree, are we? No, sweetheart. Why is he standing in the middle of the ring? He's standing in the middle of the ring because it's over. You missed it? That's a great teacher, you know, that cares about, truly cares about her students. You slithered like a serpent into the school kitchen and ate my personal snack! <laughs> Do you deny it? My mom's is better. Oh, shit! What is, is it? Don't eat it. Yeah, I wouldn't eat it. She wouldn't give him cake. It's poison. Yeah. Something's um... I'm a little scared for the child. Her sweat and blood went into the oh. cake, and you will not leave this platform now. Eat it. What in the world? Oh, he's still going at it. I feel. Oh my god, I feel so bad for him. I can't believe he hasn't puked yet. Give up. <laughs> you can do it, Brucey. Oh. You can do Okay, Matilda. Yeah, 
This was supposed to be a punishment. And it's a victory for the kids. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> oh my god. Shut up. It's a salamander. It's yeah. a chameleon. It's a newt. Any of the small semi-aquatic salamanders. Some are brightly colored and secrete irritating substances. Oh <laughs> no. Far from the tree. Oh Who's my that? god. Put away the art project. Put away anything colorful. Oh, Charlie, you want you stand why small children are so disgusting. They're like insects. They should be got rid yeah. of as early as possible. Uh -oh. Front of the class. Why does she do this if she hates kids so much? Aww. Next time I tell you for the life of me understand why small children take so long to grow up. I think they do it deliberately. <laughs> Oh. It's a snake. It's a snake. <laughs> it's a snake. Besides, even if you didn't do it, I'm going to punish you because I'm big and you're small and I'm right and you're wrong and there's nothing you can do about it in this classroom. In this school. Uh-oh. I am God. <laughs> oh, so she does have magical powers. <laughs> I love that no one is helping her. Thanks for not telling. Of course. Thanks for friends don't tell. Aww. That's so sweet. She's a really dancer. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up. Would you like to come over to my house this afternoon? I'd like that very much, Miss Honey. Aww. That's so sweet. She's, she's really sweet. I like Miss Honey. Okay, is that your house? Where Miss Trunchbull is. Oh, of, of course. So he invited the mother's stepsister to come and live with him. Mean person who treated the girl very. Oh, badly. is that Miss Honey and her? Died. Oh. How did her father die? The police decided he'd killed himself. No one knows. I bet she has something to do with it. You were born into a family that doesn't always appreciate you. Very oh, true. Things are going to be very different. Aww. This is a cottage from your story. The young woman is you. Yeah. No. She's related to her. Yes. And Trunchbull. Oh. I had to leave all my treasures behind. Treasures? Photographs of my mother and father. A beautiful doll my mother gave me with a china face. Ah! Uh, no. Afraid of cats. But I never do that. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have told her the story. I think she's she's coming back home. Oh, she is really superstitious. I know. <laughs> Well, woman is extremely strong. Aww. I don't think Magnus killed himself. Neither do I. Oh no, that 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 one's possessed. What? You hell. You what? <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think it's better for you guys to run. Oh god. She scares the hell out of me. Oh shit, oh shit! Oh no, it's locked! Oh my god, oh my god! What the fuck is wrong with this woman? What, she didn't make made it into the Olympics and she went nuts? I do meal. <laughs> How did you do that? So disturbing. That's Miss Honey. No, they're cops. They are not cops. They are ace powerboat sales 
Batman. Maybe face on Star. Hi, Harry. Who are you? You interested in timeshare? <laughs> you don't let me. Dad. What do you want? Yell at me, okay? Shut up and leave us alone. Terry, oh, you oh. My word is my law. You're the law. Anger. That's how she does it. I love that. I wasn't expecting this to be supernatural. You're um, I'm big, you're little. little. Far from the tree. You started it's acting like one. You started acting like one. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> oh! Show this tape in court, Wormwood's goose is cooked. You know how to use it? You know about the zoom? <laughs> true men are gonna be in a lot of trouble very soon. <laughs> oh! Now Matilda had bigger fish to fry. <laughs> I love that she's a girl on a mission. What is wrong with this woman? Oh no, the air. Well, technically she's not inside of the house. The house trembles. <laughs> Matilda, you, you have to go. You did what you had to do. <laughs> <laughs> Matilda. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he's watching you. <laughs> oh, but her. Oh. Oh, that's so disgusting that she does that. Oh, Jesus. Hide it, hide it. I will be teaching your class today. Okay. Sweetheart, you promised you wouldn't go back in that house. Well, again. she didn't, technically. Didn't. <laughs> do you see that, right? <laughs> you do have powers! Yep. <laughs> no more, Miss Nice Girl. <laughs> oh, damn. Here to teach you all a lesson. Form a line across the room, quickly! Run, run, run! Don't keep me waiting! A child came to my house. I don't know how, I don't know when. Do any of you recognize this? Ha ha ha! Agatha! <laughs> Give my I will get you like you got me. Leave the child alone. <laughs> He's flying. <laughs> what a human being you are. Here we go! <laughs> she doesn't even have a shoe! My god! Or heard from, never to darken a doorway again. Oh, good! Look at that. This honey moved back into her father's house. What? Hey, you! Yeah, we're moving to Guam. Come on. Child, and I love her. Aww. Adopt me, Miss Honey. Oh, please. Second dad, I have the adoption papers. You do? All you have to do is sign them. You're the only daughter I ever had, Matilda. And I never understood you, not one little bit. You never tried. Who's got a pen? Oh, my God. And doing perhaps the first decent thing they yeah. ever did for their daughter, the Wormwood yeah. signed the adoption uh, okay. papers. Oh, that is so sweet. Yeah. Oh. That yeah. she was. 
part of the story is that Matilda and Miss Honey each got what they had always wanted, a loving family. Aww. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> that is so beautiful. Danny DeVito, yes. Oh, this was so beautiful. Okay, guys, so that was the end of Matilda, the uh, our film reaction for today. And boy, did I have fun. It was, I, I mean, I have heard of Matilda. You know, but when you have no con context for anything related to a film or TV or whatever, I mean, you might see some things and you might not even realize what you're watching or what you're seeing uh, because there's no context for it, right? So, have I heard about Matilda? Yes, about a movie titled Matilda. But have I actually known what happened? Like... Not at all. Not even like the the characters other than Matilda, you know. Uh, Danny DeVito, he directed this film, which I did not knew that. Uh, they discovered color in this film, apparently, uh, as well. Um, and, uh, you know, we had quite exceptional characters. You know, you have a little girl... Uh, who's born into a family that is very neg negligent to her and to her brother, I feel, more so to her. They didn't give a crap about her from the first moment she came into this world. Why? Because she was a mistake, right? She was a mistake, and because of that, they uh, uh, did not care uh, uh, about her, which is extremely sad. You know, for such a young girl to um, have that type of parents, right? Uh, but she was v very smart. And it's so sad that the parents uh, living with this gifted child, all they thought of her was that she was, you know, a burden to them. You know, something that it was not supposed to be there. And it was, you know, causing them troubles where when Matilda was actually you know, the sweetest child ever, you know, she self-taught her, uh, uh, her uh, how to read and, and math, and she had a brilliant brain, and they went past to a little bit of, like, sci-fi or supernatural, whatever you want to call it, um, uh, aspect of it, where, since she's so smart, and she showed it from such a young age, she developed her brain in, 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 in ways that humans can't. So she discovered how to unlock that part in your brain where you can actually have powers, right? But with powers, with great powers comes great responsibility. But I think she used her powers for good, okay? So while this was happening, she started noticing a few things, you know, when she was forced to do things or she was angry, you know, uh, about things that were happening to her. I mean, they weren't even sending her to school. They didn't even know how old she was, you know? So, um, uh, uh, she started noticing these things, but, you know, it rarely happened in, like, honestly, no one else believed in her. She was kind of like, Okay, maybe it is a co coincidence. All she wanted was to go to school. The dad sells a car. Well, sells cards. I first, I heard, I swear God, I heard cards. As in, like, cards. You know, like, cards. This is what I felt, like, cards. That he sell this. And I was like, okay, but that's what weird business he has. You know, whatever. But I don't know, maybe it's superhero cards. Or something like that. Pokemon cards. <laughs> Who knows? I honestly understood cards. In, and even that's... I don't know why sometimes I put the subtitles if I'm not going to be reading them. But I put them just so you guys are aware of what is happening when I'm talking over. But whatever. I thought it was cards. Until... It was actually cars. And he was, uh, you know, he was cheating. He was doing illegal things to sell. You know, he bought cars for $500 and sold them for two, dollars $3,000 without any type of safety thing or anything. He was scamming people all around, right? The FBI was already 
after them and they were so dumb until there was like there are cops outside like they are on to you and, and they just did not believe her nah nah what are you saying is like because they were like the dad especially was like you are too little short whatever uh to be uh smart right if something was going on i will know about it you know and, and matilda didn't have anything to say i mean he didn't want to listen so yeah um but she did you know when the dad said that uh when someone misbehave they have a person has to be punished he, he should have said a child should be punished and this is at a time where apparently physical violence was well, you know, 1996, I mean, I have grown up with the the fact that even teachers sometimes give gave you the, with the ruler, they used to like snap on your, on your hand. I don't know if that had happened to any of you. I didn't got that as, as much. I think it happened just one time, I think. Yeah, it happened one time, I think. Um, but uh, teachers went around with big rulers you know at least in my school um in in primary school not when i was in high school they, they didn't do that um but physical punishments were not something that was odd i mean my mom did not like anyone else beating the crap out of us so i don't think that i think that's one of the reasons why the teachers were afraid to do anything to to my brother or, and, and i uh and also i was very I was really smart as a child. I don't know what the hell happened, guys. <laughs> but I kept, you know, I, I was also kind of like her. I like reading a lot. I, I liked, you know, uh, uh, knowing a lot more. And like, to me, the classes were so... Because my mom was a teacher. And since I, she knew that I could, you know, by the time I was four or five, I don't know, younger. Before I went into school, I already knew how to read, you know. Because I was a very eloquent um child so my mom gave me books just to shut me up because apparently I couldn't stop talking so I, I just you know continuously you know read things and things like that you know so uh, I did not have any troubles at school at being you know following what they were saying I most of the time I already knew what the class was about because my mom had already ta taught me you know, the things that they were doing, and I sometimes corrected the teachers, so I was a little bit annoying to the teachers because of that, but they couldn't really punish me because I was not doing anything wrong, actually, I was, you know, being too smart, but I don't think that could have granted me a punishment, so I never had to do that, I never had to go through that, in my house, that was a different story, you know, because my mom was of the belief, not anymore, but as a belief of, like, punishment should be physical punishment you know so that happened a lot to me and my brother when we were younger till we were ar around I don't know 12 I think I was 11 12 and my brother was he's two years younger so that's around the time they kind of stopped uh, at least for me I think my brother my mom continued to to do that a little bit longer I don't know but the thing is that um, in this film, that's what shocks me to see the most, you know, is adults being uh, uh, abusive towards kids. And in this world, apparently, yeah, catching a, a, a scammer, it is important because, I mean, how many people and like the safety of people that bought those cars is important. But... Uh, the fact that the kids were being treated the way they were treated at Crunch Hill. I don't know what the name of the, the school was. Um, that was just, you know, that was okay, apparently, you know. And, like, no one, not even Miss Honey went to... I think Miss Honey also was extremely scared of Trunch Bowl, right? Uh, and that might be the reason why she never went out to accuse her of something, you know, um, and because she was extremely scared of her, you know, and by the time she was able to escape all her tortures, you know, she did not want to mess with that demon ever again, you know, but she became uh, a teacher, someone that like, and like a real teacher, someone that cared about the kids that she's 
teaching and like, you know, cares about their well-being and all of that and looks and sees that Matilda is going through things that she might have gone through, you know, being neglected, but not by her family. Sadly, her mom passed away and then apparently her dad killed himself, but it's led to, like we're led to believe by the end that actually Trunchbull, right? That's her name, right? Am I saying it right? Uh, she's the one who had something to do with the dad's death, uh, in order to keep her money, his money or in the house or whatever. Um, but it's pretty clear that the dad did not commit a suicide or maybe he was pushed into it by, by her. I don't know. Uh, but the thing is that as soon as Matilda gets there, um, she instantly has this bond with Miss Honey, uh, which is the first person to actually see how smart she is, how, you know, bright of a future she could have, and, you know, starts to being the only decent person in this entire film, you know? Um, and she does, she, she kind of takes her under her wing, you know, she really got upset whenever she was in trouble, things like that, you know, and wanted to protect her. Um, and, you know, she never discouraged her in the sense of like, honey, you can't have powers. I mean, no. she was like, she was reluctant to believe, but she was like, okay, um, she was n nurturing enough to say to Matilda, whatever it is that you feel, whatever it is that you feel that you're powerful and that you're good at just continue doing that there's nothing wrong and so she she you know not knowing kind of uh support the idea that she could have powers and that's what makes Matilda kind of dive in a little bit more into it to understand how is it that they are actually activated because there were there were too many coincidences already you know so um when she finds that out and then finds out that, you know, Miss Honey was related to Trunch, Trunch, oh, Trunch, what is her name? Tar Trunch Bull, right? Is it, wait, Matilda. Uh, I'm going to be pronouncing her name right. Miss Trunchbull, yes, Miss Trunchbull. Um, what else I say about her? <laughs> I love my brain. Don't you? Don't you love my brain? Um, anyway, so um, yeah, she she finds out that she, they are related, that she might have killed her dad, uh, and ha have kept the house and the money. Um, but I I was wondering what made Trunchbull the person she was was she like uh uh just like i don't know how to say it um like we know that she was in the olympics right and she had this thing you know and she hated kids um uh, but i wish that we could have known the reasons why she turned out the way she was. What happened to her? I mean, we knew, knew she was very superstitious. That's as much as background as we get from her. And that she was an Olympic uh, 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 player. Maybe she never won anything in her life. And was obsessed with that. But, like, the way that the actress portrayed her in this, like, bigger, like... It honestly, truly a monster, you know? Um, but I will have loved to see, like, something more uh, uh, for her. What else? You know, uh, what made her the person she is, or she was? You know, why she liked to terrorize kids? I don't know. Maybe maybe she... I don't know, honestly. I, I, I really don't. Um... But uh, like to be to be real, I I I I don't think it matters at, at the end of the day because she was a monster, you know. She actually threw a kid out of a window, you know. Then the other two, like the poor little girl with the 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 the, the pigtails, you know, that she just like went around and her and then throw her out and like I was like, what the hell, like. Honestly, if I was the mother of that child, 
I, I mean, I might be scared of trunch of, of trunch bowl, but like, I will I will try to kick her ass. Honestly, I may I mean, not physically, but physically she will beat the crap out of me. But like, I will grab a bat or something like that, you know. But the thing is that no one actually stood up to to her until Matilda gets there, um, and uh, she plays into her fears. And since she was very superstitious, uh, so she played it against her in the sense of like, oh, you might m you might have done something to the dad, so we're gonna do that against you, you know. And so she does, and she gets her revenge, kinda. Uh, and I, I like that little by little, just as this woman was traumatizing all these kids, she started to traumatize her, you know, uh, which was wicked, but honestly, she deserved every bit of suffer she received by the end of the film, you know, um, and I'm so glad that Miss, Miss Honey actually ended up being the, the principal at the, at the school that it had to, you know, have a, a high school and all of that because they love the environment so much that they wanted to continue going to the school, you know, so that was really beautiful. Uh, and also the fact that this two, kids who were born in families for for Miss Honey in a abusive home with uh, Trunchbull after her parents' death um, and Matilda not being cared about because her parents were just, you know, she was the different one, you know, she was, even though she was the smartest one there, because of that, she was neglected all the time, you know, so um, yeah, they find each other. Miss Honey and Matilda find each other. And, you know, uh, when the dad is actually trying to, you know, run away and get the uh, uh, cops out of his bag, they go and try to get Matilda because uh, she's related to us. Like, what the hell are we going to do? She has to go with us. But when Matilda uh, tells them, well, actually, no, I want to stay. I want to have a good life. And I want Miss Honey to adopt me. And Miss Honey actually was excited about the idea and they signed the papers so fast which sometimes for me you know in my opinion uh for instance not growing up with my dad uh now I understand like when I was a child I didn't understood why he wasn't there but now thinking back the fact that he was not there was a lot better than having him there you know so sometimes the best thing that a person can do is to just walk away if you have nothing good to give this the children, you know? Um, I mean, child support wouldn't have hurt us, but, you know, we're a little bit past that. And, <laughs> like, I don't think my brother and I care to ask for money at this point of our lives. Um, so, but, yeah, he was never there. And at the end of the day, I think it was for the better. We had a r great ro role model my grandpa was a great role model for us uh, and our father figure, you know, and uh, it was for the best because we had the best uh, uh, example, you know. And if my, da my dad would have stayed around more, the more we would have known about the things that he was doing and, and, and would have lived probably a very awful life and maybe we wouldn't be in the place we are right now, you know, happy with our families and everything like that. So, yeah. And I think the best thing and the first thing, the good thing that they did for Matilda was actually to give her the chance to have a family with Miss Honey and actually be happy and, you know, in, in a loving home, you know, and that's that's beautiful. Um, yeah. Apparently, we're not going to see Tron uh, Trunchbull ever again because she leaves town and she's like never to see again but maybe she left town and went in to traumatize another school or maybe not who knows but uh it was a really good film it was hilarious it was badass it was like sometimes I was like the hell is happening I mean all the punishments that she did to the kids you know, I don't know how the kids are not traumatized for life after the experience of having her as a as a headmistress, uh, you know, as a principal in the school. I would have. <laughs> I would have so many traumas uh, because of that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I loved, I loved the film. It was so beautiful, so heartwarming and incredible. 
And I loved it. I truly did. And now, after this, we are now able to watch uh, Matilda uh, the musical. You know, which is uh, a little bit longer than... Uh, I mean, longer in length than the original one. This one is a little bit over two hours. You know, but we have another trench bull. We have another... You know, and I, I would love to see how that turns out. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for that and f for whatever is to uh, come in that, that next film. But like, I am ready and I hope you guys are ready. So it will only actually depend on what uh, piece of paper I come it comes out of that next week. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that was it. That was a, 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 an amazing film, a classic. I understand now why it's a classic. And I love the fact that uh, it had this supernatural uh, um, aspect to it. I think it was very, very good. Um, and yeah, I can't wait for the, for the musical because I can't believe what it could be, you know? So I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited and I love this one. So thank you to everyone who actually... Uh, suggested this film uh, actually uh, 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 voted for it like by giving hearts and all of that and I cannot wait to watch the musical uh, uh, for Matilda so thank you for watching you guys are, are amazing I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction I truly enjoyed this one and yeah let's see what they do on Matilda the musical you know I bet that there was this is like Matilda the musical is based on like maybe maybe they did a Broadway show or something like that because normally they do you know so um we'll see but I loved it I loved it I love that scene with everything is flying and honestly to me there's a lot of things that I look at it and I'm like oh maybe some of the films and the shows that I watch might be based on things like you know, on this type of things. For instance, the fact that she has powers, you know, kind of like Eleven does, um, you know, and she can move things around and all of that without, you know, the upside down and whatever, you know, and, but, you know, um, and I, I don't know, little things that seemed, f themes that seem familiar to films that I have watched that are more recent than this one, you know, so, uh, but yeah, anyways. I loved the film and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it as well. So, thumbs up if you're watching this on YouTube. Hearts if you're watching it on Patreon. Continue supporting for more because I will be doing more reaction videos for films, shows, and everything in between. So stay tuned for that. And for now, I think that's about it. Yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for all your support. And that's it. Like I said, yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos, for more films and more things. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye, guys.